Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Check out Master Yao's new channel. Now, people who follow me a while know I always reference uh, Master Yao and Yamache Morris, uh, particularly for the books that he's written, Awaken the Master Feminine, and especially for men, Awaken the Master Masculine. And I mean, and he has some other. He, he got a whole ton of books, and plus he's a uh, he's a tantra teacher, um, you know, researcher, you know, master of several uh, spiritual disciplines. I mean, a dude know his stuff, right? And he, I, and he started a channel where he's uh, calls it the uh, Jedi Chronicles, you know. And once you listen to them, I mean, <laughs> you'll see why he calls it that. I think he called it Jedi Chronicles. Y'all go check it out. Y'all tell him Uncle Rom sent you, right? And, you know, I have a great respect for him. Because he's done some real research into relationships. Real research, right? Back in the 90s, he was in. Um, he had a project that he did. It was called the Amamara Project. And that's uh, a mummer is a, a term in the um, West African uh, Akan language of uh, of tree, and it means uh, the way of the ancestors. And I mean, and what he did, he actually traveled the world, literally traveled the world, and interviewed uh, shaman, uh, priest, medicine people. New Age teachers, indigenous people, ordinary folks uh, who just knew some stuff. And really, you know, mainly about how they related to each other sexually. That was the main thing. And, I mean, the result of it is, is powerful. Now, I remember when I met, met the uh, Master Yao. Now, back in the 90s, I mean, Rom had his own, he had his own thing going. Had my own style of dealing with women and relating and all of that, right? But then there was one question that was driving me crazy. And I, I was looking, before I met Master Yao, for two years, I was looking for the answer to this question. And the question was simply, how is it that there are some human beings, men and women, who just had natural sex appeal? And what I mean by natural sex appeal, I don't mean they had game. I meant they had natural sex appeal, like some of them wasn't even um, that physically attractive, yet they would drive the opposite sex crazy. It was incredible. Yeah, like we all see those people like that. They just got, they dripping sex appeal. But if you look at them technically, they might not have all of that. Like I know a young lady who, a couple young ladies I've met who dripped that type of sex appeal, yet they didn't have curves or anything real slim. You know, you might see some dude who, you know, he's not 6'2". He might be 5'7", average looking, in, but women are losing their mind over it, right? And I say, okay, I looked at it, and then you follow these people. They don't have anything that we would call game. And when I say game, I mean, you know, most people do something to enhance their attractiveness. These people did, and they would, like, roll out of bed and stuff and have people going crazy. In fact, a lot of some of them, some of the stuff they did goes against much of the wisdom promoted by any man or woman telling people how to uh, meet uh, people for relationships. I mean, so I say, okay, there's something there. And, you know, with the information available at the time, I'm, uh, you know, I'd be on the Internet, uh, such as it was back then, uh, checking out books in uh, bookstores, libraries and um, even did interviews, <laughs> even did interviews. And I was just like, okay, I can't, I was like, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Now, I remember I did a relationship panel, right? And Rom did what Rom usually does when he's in front of people and Rom doesn't feel like being having a filter on. I was telling the truth and thus getting people pissed off. And I remember one panel, Master Yao was in the audience, and he stood up and had my back. He ain't know me from Jack, but he stood up and said, you know, people were trying to go against what I was saying. He, he was telling a whole group of, a uh, uh, whole room full of women, yeah, y'all full of shit. <laughs> y'all 
Yeah, I know y'all do this. Right? So I was just like, okay. Right? I was like, okay. Yeah, so I checked him out. And then he was on a panel the next week, and I came and checked him out. And he was talking about his book, A Mama. Right? And, you know, after, you know, after the panel was over, I walked up to him. I said, uh, hey, you know, great presentation. Um, do you have any information in your book about men and women who would have natural sex appeal? And to tell the truth, I honestly thought he would just look at me funny like, you know, other people had. Right. So, you know, I was expecting. But I said, you know. You know how I say you got to shoot your jumper and stuff. The worst he could have told me was, no, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. And I'd have been like, just kept moving. But as soon as I said it, he, he didn't hesitate. He said, oh, yeah, I got something in this chapter. Oh, and something else in this chapter. And I was like, I got to get your book. How much is it? And he told me the price. And Ron, Ron being, you know, Mr. Cheap Bastard didn't have any money on him. And he actually, to his credit, he was willing to work with me. But I said I wasn't going to short him any money. I actually went out, went outside of the place where the panel was being held, got in my car, went to a bank, got some money out that I really didn't have. But I said, no, nah, I got to get this book. I'll just skip a lunch or something. I got the book and then it blew my mind. Because, see, here's the thing. A lot of people out here got, they see the outer aspects of this thing of ours we call game, or if you want to call it relationships, everything. Everybody see the outer aspects. One of the things that Master Yao is able to do is break down some of the stuff that we don't see. Not even some of the stuff, all the stuff we can't see. Because there's a lot going on below the surface. You know, when a man and woman meet... People think, you know, just because they're saying something or they look in a certain way, that's all that's happening. But there's body language, there's energy, you're feeling some things in, in your body. I mean, chemicals are going off, hormones are shifting, all of that stuff. I mean, he gets in, got into it. He gets into the energy aspect. He even gets into the spiritual aspect. You know, I've talked about um, in a couple videos why... Um, you know, I ain't big on that whole looks, money, and status thing because it's the outer thing. It's the outer shell. There's so much going on below the surface. It's crazy. It's subconscious. Most people don't realize it. But one of the things Master Yao does, he tells you what's going on. He, he breaks things down. He'll say, look, this is why this is happening. He can even tell you why something is happening during a certain time of year. Like, you know, if a woman keep meeting some knucklehead dude in March... He'll tell you why. Or some man keep running into some gold digger type of woman in like October. He'll tell you why. And you be like, trust me, because I've studied the signs and you're just like, oh, snap. And that's how deep it is. You know, and then he's he's cause he got a bunch of other stuff. He's telling you, he can tell you how to make a woman have an orgasm without touching her. You know, some way he can train you. I mean. As my private people know, shoot, I can train you in that. But he got some powerful stuff. He got some powerful stuff. Like I said, he gets into the science. He gets deep into it. He gets deep into it. So, you know, check his channel out. Now, this one thing I will say. If you ain't trying to be open-minded and you ain't trying to really go deep, I'm going to just tell you now, you, you might not like it over there. I mean, I know I want to get the brother some uh, subs and everything, get him some exposure, but I'm just be real. It's like one of those things. If you if you coming over there, you want to listen, you got to be serious. And you can't be on some, like, dumb shit. Seriously. Yeah, I might tolerate a little bit more a lot of other people. Actually, we don't, but, you know, that's like sometimes when you're dealing with certain people, they try and give you some knowledge. You need to be correct in how you approach them. Like, if you if ain't down for anything or you don't have any idea what he's talking about, just either walk away or just, you know, don't be on some, like, troll shit, you know? Especially if you have no idea. And when I say no idea, uh, like, you can intelligently say, you know what, I've researched the same thing and this the deal. You know, that if you want to come, if you, you know, you're going to go over there or disagree or whatever. I say go over there. Be open-minded. Now, the link for his uh, channel is in the description box. And you definitely want to check him out.
All right. So anyway, that's it for now. I'll get back with you later. Peace and blessings.